y'all so uh today we're going to be reviewing the well not reviewing but unboxing showing you guys what i got in the bundle for sacred now to start off i did get the super fan bundle with everything in it because it just made more sense it didn't make sense to buy stuff individually and still be like practically at the same amount so the super fan bundle was 265 and uh my total was 276.78 so that's what I paid to basically get all of the items. Um, the items that came with it. Uh, this is the moisturizing deep conditioner. Uh, let me see. I don't really smell it through there, but let me try open it. Super sealed, I tell you that. Uh, I don't really know if I could. I don't know what to say it smells like. Mm, it just smells like a, I don't know, like a mild type. I don't know. It smells woody to me, um, if that makes sense. I don't know, but it, it smells woody. Like, I don't even say like amberish. I don't know. It's like a light perfume of like wood. But I can say it's very creamish. Let me set that dot in my hair because... You know, can't afford to be uh, wasting any of this. That's the moisturizing deep conditioner. Um, I have a reconstructing mask as well. Oh, and just say the bottles, like the actual bottles are kind of cute. Like, I, I think it's real cute. It's different. You know, it's not any other things like it. But, you know, packaging don't really matter when you, uh, you know, when you're buying something, you just want your stuff. But uh, this is the reconstruction, well, reconstructing treatment mask. And the first thing when I first open it is like nearly falling out. <laughs> so this is very, very smooth. So you guys know all of this right here that's just waste on there. We'll be putting my hair. Yeah, this one is very liquefied. I didn't want to say smooth, but it's very liquefied. So we'll see how that works, but... Yeah, it's very liquefying, but I'll be using it today too, so it's okay that it's all over. Uh, the next thing is the moisture sealing lotion that came with it. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to tell you guys the actual ingredients of everything because it's listed on the website. That has the same smell as well also. But um, all of it is listed on the website, and it's like uh, a lot of ingredients for each little thing. So, like, yeah, you can go read it. I'll set the link or something for you, but... Yeah, you can go read it. So far, all the smells are consistent. So it's not like, you know, the shampoo is one thing. And, uh, like, conditioner is another type thing. This is the hydrating shampoo. Can't really smell it through the seal. So, let's see. Hydrating shampoo. Hmm. It reminds me of something. I just can't really say what the smell is it's kind of the same way as the other but it's a little more I don't know if I want to say minty ish it's something I smell and I just can't quite quote it but either way hydrating shampoo which I definitely need um that I'll be using a uh, clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub I don't know if I'm supposed to Oh, okay, so when you unscrew this, it has a, a, a little nozzle in it, so that's what I dropped. This is the reason, I guess, for the little double capsule on this, like, um, you know, because all the other ones got one. But it has uh, the little nozzle for you to, like, get in your scalp, I guess, disperse it, so. Okay, now this scrub actually smells really minty. It smells really minty like a tea tree type oil now don't quote me i really don't know if it has it in it it's just like it gives that smell um tea tree peppermint type yeah peppermint type oil that's what it kind of smells like to me and then you put this on and there's your little nozzle so what are we missing next thing will be the uh nourishing oil and so let's open that see how it looks Oh, it's really bad. Look. Glad it is packaged tight, though. Can't afford to be breaking it. It's actually glass. Okay, so this is a nourishing hair oil. Um, pretty tiny. I don't know. 1.7 ounce, but that's the nourishing oil. So we'll be using that too. 
What am I missing? Okay, so this is the protein um, package. It's the fermented rice and rose protein ritual. I will not be using this today because um, I don't need a protein treatment right now. So that'll be further down the line. So I won't be using this. No need to really talk about it. This is the uh, shaking vessel that comes with it. It's basically for when you're uh, using that um, the protein thing that I just showed you. And for a protein treatment, not thing, but you know what I mean. And this is the shaking vessel. Whoa, I didn't expect it to be so big. This is the shaking vessel that you mix up the water and the protein and stuff. And also, this is the little lid that goes on it so you can disperse it all over your head. Honestly, let me tell you something. Since these bottles are like legit so tiny, this is like 8 ounces, right? So, depending how much, uh, like if it's it, it goes a long way, then that'll be okay. But if not, uh, what I'll most likely do besides using a half bottle of this because I have really thick hair and stuff is that I would probably put water in this and then some of the shampoo in here or conditioner, whichever one, you know, all of it and mix it up with some water and then push it out through my hair if, you know, that make it go a little further, if you know what I mean, if that's making any type of sense. So, that's that. And then, uh, what else did we get? We got a bag. This is a little bag that came in the package. Uh, probably won't need it. I can't see myself traveling with hair products because it's just like my hair is already done when I go travel. So, that is all the products. What I plan on using today is the clarifying shampoo, hydrating shampoo, and the uh, deep conditioner and sealing lotion. I might use the mask. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how my hair feel because honestly, I'm coming from a rough week um, as far as hair go the last couple weeks. Um, I was under like a video EEG 24 hours and you know, when you get EEGs, you cannot have anything in your hair. So I had to legit wash my hair and couldn't put any product in it. You know, 30 plus wires all over your head and that's I got all these dots still right here on my skin waiting for it to go away. But I got the clearance from, you know, just to just go ahead and uh, I can finally like wash my hair and stuff and all of that so during the time I say I like to say that all I did was do like a quick co-wash once all this stuff was out of my head and that was like a week ago and I haven't been doing anything to it because it's kind of like really dry so I just been putting product on my hair and smushing it back and that's it because um, I didn't want to uh, yeah, I didn't want to go through doing anything knowing I would have to like deeply wash it, deep condition and all that. So this came out uh perfect time. Well, I received it at the perfect time because honestly, if I had just washed my hair like last week, like a full wash, deep condition and all that, I would not be taking it down to do it again today. You feel me? Because wash day is just like, it's it's a wash day. It's a process. So, um, what was I about to say? Well, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair loose, you guys, so y'all can see it basically because, um... You know, everybody really wants to see, like, the types and everything as far as hair go. And, uh, oh, shipping time is what I want to tell you guys. I ordered on Tuesday morning. Okay, basically, I was waiting for midnight to come, like, the whole world, right? And, uh, it didn't come out on our time because I guess it was basically, like, you know, when it's midnight everywhere, I guess, that it came out. And so, I ordered my package at 3 o'clock a.m. on Tuesday, and I got it Thursday, okay? I got it Thursday, so it was actually incredible shipping to say it was just like a recently launched, you know, product. So they basically have, you know, everybody on, on hand waiting to package it and stuff. So, um, so yeah, with my hair, it's basically like I just kind of had it in like two really big twists or whatever and just pushed to the back. But I just want to show you my hair, like. As far as type wise, you guys, I don't know. My hair is super curly, right? And as it um like really really tight curls, and as it got uh longer, it pretty much um you know it started to get like looser and stuff, or whatever if that makes sense. But this is my hair, and I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm in between uh four and uh like four B and C because I feel like some spots in my hair is different from the other. But either way, I don't really go on types, you know. I just kind of, I don't know, keep my hair moisturized like you're supposed to and stuff like that. So, throughout my hair, I still have, like, these big chunks of whiteness. 
is actually going to be you see how it just falls off that's going to be the tape that was well not tape but the glue that was still stuck in that was still stuck in my hair from the EEG so uh they pretty much told me after I wash it the first time I'll have to wash it again in a few days because um all of those uh the glue will basically turn into like big old flakes and leave but either way I told you guys I didn't really put anything in my hair during that time so uh I really have like my scalp is super duper dry so it is flakes all over I'm going to be scratching it up uh, as far as hair routine go with washing I never get in the shower and wash my hair like this okay I do not start off like this I basically finger detangle everything and uh, once I detangle it I soak my hair and well not soak it but I put water in it and I comb it out so I comb it out get all that shedded hair out before I get in the shower so that way it's less to do when I get in there um, also when I wash my hair I wash it in four quadrants and I wash my hair in the direction that I comb it okay so I use a big teeth comb and whichever way I'm going to like comb it is the way I wash it so I'll basically comb it down um, you know, because that's the way I'll be combing it out. So, this is basically how my hair looks. I'm going to show you guys how flaky my scalp is too as well because I also scratch that up too. Like, I scratch my scalp as I'm combing it out because I want to make sure when I wash it, like, I get everything. And so, see, I don't want to yank my head up, my hair too much because it's not combed out yet. But, like, you will see when I scratch it, like, how flaky it is. You know, between product buildup and just basically uh so you'll see between like product buildup and basically just like flakes on my scalp that need to you know it just needs some moisturizing because if you know you know having type 4 hair and sitting at home with nothing in it for weeks that is not good at all okay like that's not so you'll see what I mean with all of this you know these flakes and things coming up those tapes were not the best thing for my edges at all but whatever it was nothing I can do about it you know I had to go through the EEG so really nothing I can do about it but anyways this is how my scalp and stuff look and uh really this is just like basic hair washing you guys really not nothing different outside of using uh you know I mean how you normally wash your hair it's just like you're just trying it to see if it works that's that's all it is so it's not like I'm gonna do anything fancy it's just what I normally do um also like I big chop my hair I did well not a big chop I don't know if you call it a big <laughs> a big chop more like a bald and chop to me because um in 2018 I shaved my hair bald in the summertime it was like July and honestly I was just about to go back into the transition phase so I thought I had like enough of pretty much a little new grow that was like natural so I could just wear like a short little uh, curly fro before it grows out Okay, but then <laughs> as my hair was getting shaved, uh, the hair that I had left, like the little part I thought was going to be a little afro, y'all, it was sticking straight up in the air. So it was basically like just relaxed hair sticking up. And it looked so bad. Like I looked like a little chipmunk or something. Oh! <laughs> Are you going to show up? So... That led me to having to shave my head completely bald. So it was shaved completely bald in June, I mean July of 2018. And then I got one or two haircuts like between January of 2019 and like March. And then I started growing it out from like March 2019 basically until now. In between, I snip my own hair and stuff like that. Like I don't, you know, I snip it if I see it looking like it's weak or something I snip it if it's split I snip it so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it because like I don't want this video to be super long I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to show you guys how I wash it because like if you film and you know for wash days like trying to film that while in the shower is hell but we gonna go ahead and see now so far like I said everything smells good it's okay um but the smell is not what you're going for unless it's something that gives you a headache that's the problem other than that it's not that much of a big deal I wasn't really going to use the reconstructor mask, but since I waste so much opening it, I'm going to use it because, like I said, sis got to get her money worth. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while I comb my hair out, get my water bottle and comb it out, and then I'll be back. Okay, under this lighting, you probably can see um, <laughs> outside of my gray hairs, you can see all that buildup I was talking about that's in my head and like how my scalp and all that is like super uh, flaky 
and need to basically um you know be scrubbed like i need a scalp scrub right now you don't care what to do to me i've been down in the ruins so deep all the games they are playing all the love you forsaken you let it slip away oh, 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 oh. you don't care what to do Shit and the damage you've done Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks 